All right, so we're at a baseball game, and we're going to order some food. So early in the game, uh, you get up to buy some food for your group, and you go and you buy three hot dogs and two orders of nachos, and the total cost comes out to be $20. And then later in the game, you get up to buy some more food, and you find that two hot dogs and four orders of nachos this time cost $28. So if you were just paying and weren't paying attention to the price, we want to know, with this information, what would be the cost of one hot dog and one order of nachos? So those are the two things we're trying to find, the cost of one hot dog, the cost of one order of nachos. So let's start by defining the variables. We'll let H stand for the cost of one hot dog. And we'll let N stand for the course of one order of nachos. All right, so if we have two variables we need to find, we need two equations. So the first trip, you bought three hot dogs and two orders of nachos. So three hot dogs at the price of one, which would be H. So if we multiply that together, 3H and then two orders of nachos and we add those costs together and we know we spent twenty dollars okay. well later in the game we went back this time we got two hot dogs so two times h and then four orders of nachos so that would be four n and this time we spent twenty eight dollars so now we want to solve these and the way to solve equation, a system of equations when you have it in this form is you want to get one of the variables, either the h's or the n's, to cancel. And you can do either one. Um, it might be easier to cancel the n's. We've got a 4n here, so to make that a negative 4n, we would multiply that equation by negative 2. But just to add another step so you can see all cases, let's cancel the h's. So I've got 3h there and 2h here. So to get these to cancel, they need to be opposites. So I'm going to multiply the top one equation by 2 and the bottom by 3. Basically just reversing these two numbers. So when I multiply, I'll have 2 times 3. That'll make that 6. 2 times 3 here would also make that 6. But one of them needs to be negative, so they'll cancel. It doesn't matter which one. So let's just make the second one negative. Okay. And so now if we multiply this out, 2 times 3h, that gives me 6h. 2 times 2n, that's going to give me 4n. And then 2 times 20, that's going to give me 40. Okay, We do the same down here with the, the negative 3. Negative 3 times 2h. That's negative 6h. Negative 3 times 4n. That's going to be negative 12n. And negative 3 times 28. That will be negative 84. Okay. All right, so now we can... Can, uh, combine these, the h's cancel. 4n minus 12n is negative 8n. 40 minus 84 is negative 44. And then we divide both sides by negative 8. And so we get n equals 5.5. And since we know that n is the cost of one order of nachos. This is the dollar amount. So one order of nachos costs $5.50. All right, we've got the nachos, so now we need to find the price of the hot dog. So we can go back to either of these two equations. doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to pick the second one. And we're going to go back before we multiplied by negative 3. So I'm going to have 2H plus 4N and instead of putting the n in, we're going to put the 550 equals 28. Okay. 4 times 5.5, that's 22. 
subtract the 22. So we have 2h. If we subtract 22 from 28, we're left with 6. And then finally divide by the 2. And we see that the price of the hot dogs are $3 each.